Oh boy, what a week, y'all. Uh, let's talk about it. My name is Jack. I was a child actor on Zoe 101, one of this guy's shows. I also worked in his production department as an intern on iCarly, and I worked in the writer's room on Sam and Cat and Victorious. This Max documentary that was recently released did a really good job of uncovering the details of workplace toxicity, specifically on Dan Schneider's shows for Nickelodeon. We could talk about the massages. We could talk about the fact that he would literally count his gold coin collection in front of his crew who was living paycheck to paycheck. We could talk about how sometimes he would bring out a shotgun to scare one of the writers when they were working at his house. We could talk about the high-level conversations I wasn't supposed to hear about how Nickelodeon didn't want to recommend antidepressants for Jeanette McCurdy after her mom died for fear that she might kill herself and make the network look bad. But what I do want to talk about is never letting this stuff happen again. This is an entire industry built on hope and dreams and adrenaline and wish fulfillment. And that can be a very dangerous thing for megalomaniacs to wield. Even in posting this, I'm a little afraid. Is this going to screw up my career moving forward? I have no idea, but I think it's important and it needs to be said. Because if my silence ensures the perpetuation of environments I don't want to work in anymore, then what is the point of working in them? And until Homeboy goes on 60 Minutes to answer some questions from some real journalists and not a cast member of his who he's paying to be there, apology not accepted.